again, it's me, Alex. Uh, another practice session. Next day. Today's uh, Sunday. Got work tonight. <laughs> so, well, I'm just uh, thinking, working through some more of this method book. Uh, very important that I get through this. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to. And doing long tone. <coughs> I have a I have the tuning CD in a playlist of fifth going from uh, going to. Uh, no sharps and flats, going through sharps, and then going back to C, no sharps or flats, and then going through flats. See my fingering.
might be the mouthpiece. I'll see when I get the new mouthpiece. May have been an octave lower than that, but it's a little out of the range. Well, I need an alto clarinet, definitely a bass clarinet, or a basset horn. I said this. I said B flat, but this is actually B. I, I I think I just said the wrong word. I know this is B flat. It's just the register key and the and the A key. There might be a trill fingering, or or maybe a, a more fuller. Let's do a covered fingering for B flat, I guess. minor difference. I don't think it makes dip too much of a difference for me at this moment. Maybe as my tone progresses. Tone quality, I guess.
Testing to see if the uh, mic recorded from out there. Mm. Alright. On to B. Use this key. Oh, then I don't have to hold both of those at the same key. Oh. Yeah, because then I don't have to hold diagonal pinky. It would be impossible. <laughs> Not impossible. <laughs> It's much easier just to roll this pinky.
ABC. My upper altissimo registers, I have trouble keeping the... It's just kind of sounding weak. can cover more holes. I could probably go lower by extending the bell and extending the sharp is taking the uh, the mouthpiece out all the way, barrel out all the way, and the, bull, and the bell out all the way. I feel the way to get up sharp. That I know of. Uh, unless there's more holes I can cover. the holes covered. Yeah, that's the only way to go to F sharp on the Salmo. Um. I mean, uh, D sharp.
beats per minute, two half notes high press, I can go up quarter notes, quarter rest, just to get the fingering right, make sure I get the attack and on time, I have trouble doing the, the tonguing, I'm going to work on that in this, okay, quarter notes, quarter rest, this is lesson three, this is root bank. No flats. Let's see. Quarter note, two half notes, four quarter notes, whole note, and then a whole note down to C. And then same pattern, two half notes, four quarter notes, and a whole note. G and C. Auto body. G and C auto body in the third shop. Sonoma County. against the reed, it's just I'm afraid of breaking the reed, but I, I don't want to break it, because like, how am I supposed to tongue it without breaking it, like, I'm not supposed to do the very tip of the reed, I'm supposed to do the flat part of the reed, I believe. on that with my trombone and clarinet. How do I take a breath when there's no rest? It's like I gotta end a note early or do this all in one breath. Let's, let's turn to my G to C. It's open G. Let's go for the break. No, 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 no. This is, this is the lower C. Okay. <coughs>
my mouthpiece, I got a nickel cap coming because this plastic cap, it doesn't really go on all the way. And like, I, I'm afraid to push it all the way down if it reads on. I, I think I dropped this mouthpiece too, so I think it's a good thing I got a new read, a new mouthpiece on the way. And it's a uh, Yamaha, I can trust them. Um, we'll see how that, that mouthpiece works out. I think I, I got a good practice session done today. Uh, I worked on tuning for a while, did some long tones. Uh, which is always good. And I started working on one of my songs. I don't think that was an hour, I think it's been about maybe 30 minutes. I don't know, I'll see. I kind of need to have a more solid track of time. Maybe doing long tones. I need to be working on working that method book exercises, and then I should move on to uh, my repertoire. And I should warm down with long tones. I think I need to take a break though. So, if I do practice again today on the clarinet, I know what to work on. Should move on to my repertoire after doing some long tones. And then when I'm done, I should always finish with long tones. I need to build up these muscles. And this, uh, cleaning cloth, I need to get a new one, this one's kind of shabby, and also this doesn't go through the whole instrument, so I actually have to uh, take the instrument and do it in sections, so I should be able to do it through the whole instrument, but this one's not long enough. I'm going to give it a couple runs through because this cloth, one isn't enough, and even if I did have one that, that was good enough for the first run, I would still do a couple just to make sure it's dry and clean. I need to learn proper habits. Like, uh, even though this is a hundred dollar instrument, I mean, it's a lot of money for me right now <laughs> for it to be spending on an instrument, but I thought it was a good investment. I mean, music, uh, I'm a music major, and I'd like to, I'd like to join the symphony. Junior college, maybe the orchestra next spring, and then the symphony in the fall for sure. And in the spring, I'm going to be doing jazz band, symphonic band, and orchestra. So I'm going to be pretty busy next spring. But you know, uh, being a musician takes a lot of work. A lot of people think that it's really easy. I remember there was in high school, a lot of the people there. Uh, clarinetist especially, because uh, I remember we always, the band director always had to work with the clarinets every single practice, every single rehearsal, so pretty much we had no time to work, 
Sometimes we were allowed sectional work, so as you were working in the trombone section, but most of the time we just had to sit there uh, waiting or reading a book or taking a nap while the band director worked with the clarinetist who didn't practice at home. And sometimes it was the flute, sometimes it was the trumpet, but it was a lot. I remember the clarinet, the clarinet section was just nobody practiced at all. Maybe one person. <laughs> there's one. There's always one person who's obviously dedicated in every section. Like I remember uh, there was this one, uh, one guy uh, in the trombone section. He also played piano. Uh, he he uh, he had Arbin. And that was back in high school. I remember he was, he, you know, he had a double bass, he had a bass trombone and, he, and a tenor trombone. He was pretty serious about the trombone. Uh, he was, uh, he came over here from India. <laughs> he was born there. Uh, Alright, well, that's uh, my practice session for now. I might practice again later. Although I really do need to work on my trombone, so if I do practice again later, it'll be if my friend comes over for clarinet, otherwise I'll be recording another video for trombone, and I'll see you then.